Hello everybody and welcome back to part 2 of creating the blog app using React in Redux. I'm Akshut and this is my YouTube channel where I upload videos about programming and I try to upload almost every single day. I also explain it in a very simple manner and if you're new here make sure you subscribe and let's get started. So here I'm just going to show my screen and here what I'm going to do is in this video we're actually going to be building the actual like blogs section that you, you can say. So what I'm going to do is here I'm just going to basically create a div which I'll just call app underscore underscore page like so and then what we want to do is inside of here we just want to say blogs. So there's going to be another component. So here in the file structure, we can just go over to components and create a new folder, which is called blogs. And then create uh, a new file, which is called blogs.js, like so. And also we will create an appropriate CSS file, so blogs.css. So here what we want to do is just say underscore R-A-F-C-E and then what we want to do is just say import dot slash, oops, import dot slash blogs dot CSS, like so. And here for now I'm just going to say h1 blogs. So we that and of course we need to import this blogs component do all of that, come back here, and we should just see the text blogs. So that's what we want. So here I'm just going to paste in the CSS for the blogs. So it's actually very little CSS right here. So I'm just going to paste that in and that's just what we want. And of course, this is not what we're going to be having here. So instead here, we'll just replace this with this right here. So let's just get rid of that and that and then just make this an A tag. Get rid of that. And we need to import this. So it's just button from material UI. Okay. Okay, and basically if you haven't seen the start icon, what it basically does is just add it adds an icon next to the actual text. And what we wanna do is just get rid of that and that. And here, key, uh, for now we won't worry about that. And ID, uh, we don't really need it for now. And title, so here I've just got some data for um, a blog. So title, I'm just going to grab that from there. Paste it in right there. And for the content, this is actually uh, pretty long. So, grab that is basically just alarm ipsum so you can basically just grab that from alarm some generator and now thumbnail url so grab that from right there come here uh oops do that and username, we're going to say Akshat, like so, save that. And of course, it's just going to throw us an error because we haven't actually created the blog component. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing now. So just create a new folder, blog.js, blog.css, underscore FCE. Actually, I'm just going to paste the entire component in. But before that, we'll actually paste in the CSS, like so. And then here I'm just going to paste in the actual component. So we don't really want that or that or that or even that. And so we'll take all of that stuff in and this we need and these we don't need for now. This we don't need all of this is like backend stuff. So for now we won't actually worry about all of that. That's all we need all of that. Okay, save that. And that's, let's actually see how it actually looks. So I don't think we have imported the 
actual component right here yeah we haven't imported it so you should import it right there using auto import come here and hopefully reload and let's see link is not defined so let's come here i'll just change this to an a tag just for now okay and there we go that's how it looks but for some reason i don't think for the blogs for the blogs the actual css has been applied so why i just say like color red this is your border one pixel solid red okay so i don't think the css file is actually being imported so let's see blogs dot css so i actually don't know why it does not work here hmm interesting so let's actually see blogs refresh and let's see here okay it froze So actually what I'm going to do is close that down and open localhost 3000 and let's see um okay it just throws an error so let's just do dot slash and refresh and it still does not work okay and that's of course because I did not give this a class name. Blogs. Here we go. Ah, uh, yeah. Now it works. So that's actually looking pretty good. And as you can see, uh, when this text gets too big for, uh, you know, like the component, then it just has a dot, dot, dot. And that's because here in blog.js, we have got this little truncate method. Uh, so that's basically what it does. It just basically puts a dot, dot, dot. Okay. So yeah, with that actually being said, that's pretty much it for this video. So in this video, we created the blogs component and yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.